say in the last two years we have seen about uh, the steam formation, mode of heat transfer, and also the role of mechanical engineer in sustaining industry. Right? So this is the third unit part of the We are going to see about uh, ice agents, right? So ice agents are otherwise known as internal combustion engine, which is predominantly used in two wheelers and four wheelers. Uh, what are you using day to day? Not only in two wheelers and four wheelers, it is also used in heavy duty vehicles. Okay? Uh, before going to internal combustion engine, uh, does anybody know what is external combustion engine? What is external combustion engine? Uh, where it is used? External combustion engine, which is in short form, it is known as ECE. See, these external combustion engines are mostly used in uh, steam engines. I mean, uh, we can say for uh, if you go to OT, uh, we have some steam engine, right? Steam engine. Uh, Right, right. So there we are using excess combustion engine. There we are going to use uh, what we are using. We can use coal to create a steam. From that uh, steam, we uh, will create a power to run the train. Right. Okay, that is external combustion engine. Apart from this external combustion engine, we have another uh, update which is called a single combustion engine, which is uh, used uh, in late uh, 1900s. So over uh, 10 decades, we are uh, 10, uh, 10 to 12 decades, we are using, sir, 120 decades, we are using. External engine internal combustion engines. Okay. The main advantage of using this internal combustion engine is that it is completely uh, running in a closed circle so, so that we can uh, increase the efficiency of a particular. Okay. For example, if, if you are having two slope here, in that uh, external combustion engine, sorry, internal combustion engines, we have so many classifications. First one is based on the stroke, we can classify it as two stroke engine and two stroke engine. Where we can see two stroke engines? It's very Java, Max Ender, TV 50s, perfect. Then we are using two stroke engines. Okay. Then from two stroke, it is, uh, we are using most probably four stroke engines. What is the main drawback of the two stroke engines? Why have we abandoned the two stroke engines? The major one is pollution. Okay, 
Okay, here we can see a common injection way. Instead of carburetor, we have a common injection way. Based on the uh, necessity of this part, necessity of the uh, fuel, it will uh, pour the, this uh, FPFI will pour the fuel or pour the fuel air fuel mixture inside the cylinders or sorry, inside the combustion chamber based on the sensors. Okay, we have kind of, if we see uh, four meters, you can see minimum piece in the engine, piece in the engine. Okay? In order to it is piece in the engine. For a four car cars, it comes at a four cylinder engine. If it comes for a heavy trucks, it comes up to eight cylinder engines. Right, eight cylinder system. So based on the uh, sorry, uh, based on the need or based on the combustion uh, rate, the MPFI will inject the air fuel mixture inside the cylinder. So that based on the, it will it will be uh, completely uh, controlled by the sensors. Okay, the sensor will sense the uh, or make the air fuel mixture or make the MPFI to inject the uh, air fuel mixture in certain uh, cylinders so that the efficiency of the uh, engine will 